You have a... You four brothers? I do. Okay, so, do. and you're all, guys, we're all pretty close in age. Yeah, yeah, so oldest is 45, and then I'm 41, and then it goes 41, 40, 38, 36. Okay, and now, is that close enough that you guys were all wailing on each other? Oh, yeah, and yeah. Not, not one person was definitively winning. Oh, gotcha. Yes, so, like, any given day, it was a coin flip, because anything was game. I've been chased with a chainsaw, with kitchen knives, <laughs> set on fire, uh, <laughs> an incident with a hive of bees. We tend not to talk about that. Wow. The mustard was involved. It was weird. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's life growing up in West Newbury, Massachusetts. Uh, you had an actual, uh, you guys built a, a wrestling ring in your basement. Yeah, so to like corral us from actually not murdering each other. Yeah. We ended up get locking ourselves in the basement and creating our own uh, sports entertainment federation. And so you're young, obviously, but you're doing the thing that you ended up doing professionally. What, at what point did you think, oh, there's, this might be a career? Because I think a lot of people wrestle in their basement and don't think, this is what I'm going to do. I, I still can't believe yeah. they pay me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you guys. This is awesome. <laughs> you, I mean. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, the, the lesson that we learned out there is love what you do, because if you love what you do, it's never a day of work. So thank you, guys. Thank you for the doctor. Thank you. I feel lucky in the exact same way. You, uh, uh, obviously, uh, this is a, uh, uh, you know, it's a half-robot-based film. It's a half-car-based film. Yeah. You're a car guy. Yeah. And your actual, your first wrestling name was kind of in the realm of... Oh, boy. You now were, we, uh, I, thought, I thought we sunk the ship with the this CFO. Is, was, this was somebody gave you this name, yes? Yes. And you were called the prototype. I was. And was the idea that you were half robot? The idea was, was uh, I think the slogan was 50% man, 50% machine, 100% mayhem. <laughs> the prototype. Don't, cl don't clap for that. You, you, you definitely have never seen this if you were putting your hands together. You're like, man, you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> Awful. It was awful. What was your first car? Uh, so my first car was an '84 Coupe de Ville, which I got at 14 and a half. How do you and... get? How are you allowed to get a car at 14? Uh, and a half? you know, I kind of coerced my dad into okay. putting up half the money, and I worked at a very young. I got my first job at uh, 13 as a youth league umpire. Oh well, wow. yes. I did that as well. Yes, it so was, was really it. good money. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't a fun time. It was great. Yeah, I was uh, a bit eccentric. I like another being... story. Totally another story. But didn't you? My favorite thing about it was, you know, when you were you were doing it at 13, and it was like the kids were like 10 or 11. Yeah. And I love just that authority. Me too. Yeah. Yes, I, I thoroughly abused it, and I owe a lot of people an did apology. You, did now. you have a, as an umpire, did you have, like, were you happy with your uh, call th uh, strike three? Did you have a good one? I, I believe you're familiar with a movie called The Naked Gun. Yes. Yes. You would so use those? I say, I was a bit eccentric. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, for a Little League game with about 25 <laughs> parents there, full splits. And, yeah, full and splits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor 11-year-old kid just trying to go back to the dugout. I, it was, a, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. So, Coupe de Ville. Yeah, uh, but I, I smoked the transmission before I was 15, uh, so I got rid of the car before I could even drive. Uh -huh. First car I ever bought with my own money. I still have to this really? day a 1989 Jeep Wrangler. It's got 185,000 miles on it. It's an inline four. It is a dog, but it's beautiful, and I'll never sell it. It is not for sale. That's fantastic. Uh, hey, man, congratulations on everything, as always. Uh, I know you're about to get back in the ring as well. That's yes. really exciting. December 26th, December the CFO is back.